Hello vacuum cleaner fans and fans of Philips vacuum cleaners because I'm hoping that I'm going to open up a Philips P99 today. You might have seen the video when I was supposed to be opening up a Philips P99 but was sent a Panasonic upright cleaner. So this is a very heavy box and it is more the shape I would expect a cylinder vacuum to be in so but even if it is the Philips P99, is it going to work? What condition is it going to be in? Has it suffered any damage? The box seems fairly sturdy, so... Mm, and I think these cleaners were built to last. So hopefully the vacuum gods are smiling on me today and I will be able to show you a Philips P99. If I can get this packaging open. And the other irony, folks. <laughs> When I won this originally on eBay, I ordered some vacuum bags and then the vacuum bags didn't turn up, but fortunately I got a refund. And I think that was a bit of kismet or karma because I would have received a pack of vacuum bags for a vacuum I didn't own. But fortunately, I think the seller didn't put the correct postage on and they, they never got delivered. So I got a refund for the vacuum bags, which means I don't have any bags to fit this because I wasn't going to order any more bags until I had a Philips P99 in front of me. Right, is this going to be a Philips P99? It is. It is a Philips P99. It is absolutely filthy dirty, as I expect from this particular seller. I think they uh they call themselves uncleaned unclean unclean i don't know if this is this is a phillips look it is a phillips wand definitely a genuine i would say phillips wand this is a fairly deluxe model you'd think it would have had metal wands but no but i would safely say and any phillips enthusiasts watching to me because the phillips did use this sort of pip fitting I think it's, I think, well, it's definitely Philips, but whether it's original to this cleaner, I don't know. So we've got two wands and a hose, and we've got a Mr. Tickle something or other. I don't know what it is. We do have a floor tool. I don't think we've got any small tools. We do have a small tool, a floor tool, carpet and floor nozzle. That's oh, face stiff, it'll all need stripping down and given a good clean little bit of rust on there. But you know, it has got the hole, so it should fit. So that's correct. Whether I can get, I mean, I'll get the, I'll be able to get tools to fit this machine, small tools. Whether I can get them in this sort of brown color, I don't know. But the hose looks correct as well. Here's the swivel top. And I think that should come out. I'm not going to try it. Well, it does. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. In case you get a blockage in your elbow. So that's uh, so far so good. And yeah, that looks fine. We've got little suction Dude, are a bit stiff, but it all needs a good soak in a hot bath. Right, so far so good. It is a Philips P99. We've got the tools. We've got, that's a beast. That's quite a heavy cleaner. We've actually got a Philips P99. And also some general detritus. Um, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh dear. That plastic matches this plastic. <sighs> I bet it's on the base. It'll be on the base. We'll see if that's going to be horrendous or fixable. Let's just check in here for any more. No. Right. Okay. I think we're going to find a bit of damage, unfortunately. But where? Where is the damage? I don't, I daren't look. I'm pretty sure it's going to be at the, the rear end of this vacuum. It's had quite a, a rough life, but it's white. It's not gone yellow, which is good. 
Made in Holland. That's okay. The wheels are okay. Generally, it's dirty, but nothing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> nothing that a bit of elbow grease and sif won't cure. But, <laughs> oh, you. Right. It's not horrendous. It's not horrendous. I'm not bothered. I'm not going to complain. This cost me £18, folks, with some £7 odd postage. So less than I originally paid. I will have to, to glue this properly. Yeah. There's only two bits. Hopefully that's all there is. Um, I think... Oh, oh I've lost it. <laughs> I've lost it. So this is going to have to come apart. But I, I think it might come out if I'm lucky. Oh, seems like there's more. Oh dear. How does this come apart though? I can't see any visible screws. Mm, not sure how these come apart. Anyway, we'll have a we'll have a look at it. Um, automatic cord rewind is here, and that works. Oh, that's a big, that's a big doodah, isn't it? On the uh, plug end, there's a sheath around the cable here. Quite a look at the length of that. That's. Uh, unusual but that I suppose protects ah well this is this is not working it's a good job I <laughs> this seller I don't know how they remain in business they have some satisfied customers and I want to keep this plug because it's color matched but obviously I need to put a fuse in there I do have some spare covers um, it'll be black but some fuse covers, whether it'll fit, I don't know. I mean, it won't be too bad just to put the fuse in. It, it should really have a cover as well. But just to see this working, fingers crossed, I'll just pop a fuse into that and we'll switch on. But I'm not going to switch on just yet until I've had a look around the machine. So the bag, I believe we have to squeeze this together. Oh, it's manky. And it stinks. Right, we do have... Phew, we do have a cloth bag. Try to hold my breath. But the cloth bag shouldn't really be used on its own. It's just a filter. We do have a, pla a paper. I'll try not to breathe in this. Oh, it's genuine though. And there's no filter underneath. I don't know if that's correct. It could... Oh, that absolutely reeks, folks. <coughs> oh, that reeks. <laughs> we do have, can you just about see a genuine Philips bag? I'm trying to hold my breath. These are rather unusual, the way they fit. Because they don't really have a, a cardboard collar. <sighs> uh, this is going to spew out stuff I think when I switch it on here's the inside of the bag compartment which isn't too bad considering I mean it is it's absolutely covered in dust but it's not too bad I'm gonna to have to give this a bit of a wipe before switching on to try and well what I'm gonna do I'm gonna to have to vacuum the bag out I'm not gonna switch this on with that bag full of muck so I'm just going to, I'll give it the briefest of wipes inside here. I'll, I'm in the bag. I think hardly any of the muck has gone in the bag here. Because I don't think the bag's been fitted properly. <laughs> now you can buy bags for this, but not, probably not genuine ones, but a bag at least. Some dirt, yeah, some dirt has managed to get in that bag, but most of it 
hasn't. That is rank. So what I'll do, oh, I've just cleaned up my lovely Sibo Felix and put a new bag in it, but it's the handiest cleaner I've got. So I'll just uh, pause the camera, vac that clean. So here's the before and I'll show you an after. I'll wipe out the bag compartment. We'll put this back and then we'll find a fuse and see if this Philips works. <laughs> Okie dokie folks, I've cleaned out the bag housing roughly, it's a lot better than it was. And again, I've um, roughly cleaned the cloth bag. And I've just spotted, I could just give this a bit more of a wipe, I suppose. This all needs a proper, proper clean, obviously, but it's so dirty. I didn't want to turn it on before I'd got some of the muck off. Because I could, well, it's probably still gonna send clouds of dust into the room anyway even after cleaning it but hopefully I've limited that a bit just that'll do just get the worst of worst of the detritus off is that broken no that that seems okay it's a really odd way of fitting a bag so I possibly can wash this by hand I think it needs a wash I've got the worst off so that fits nice and tightly into there. I will attempt at, I don't know how the bag goes in. Does it go over the top of these, whatever they are? Um, I'm not really sure how this is supposed to fit, to be honest. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just try that. Maybe this bit, oh, it's all mucky coming out. Oh. Maybe this part here will sort of hold it in place, roughly. <laughs> right, oh, right, oh. Mm, there's sponge in there. S sponge that is probably perishing. Black carbon, perhaps there isn't. I, I would, mm, I think there should be a filter in there, should there? I can just get something and cut it to fit. We'll just give it a quick of a, a quick, very quick spritz. It's a shame about that damage. Whoops. A lot of this is just dust on it. I mean, it's over. Uh, it's coming up. It's coming up lovely, just with a very quick spritz of. Uh, elbow grease spray it's going to get the worst off obviously it needs this needs the full treatment i'm going to have to work out how to take this apart in order to fix that damaged bit at the back it's just this 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 part of the housing and there's no way on earth that i'll be able to buy a new top housing for this although you never know i have recently been buying some old hoover parts on ebay that a long obsolete so I've been able to sort of fix some of my old cleaners I've got odd bits broken on them I've been able to to buy the genuine parts I'm really pleased with that but yeah I don't know when this dates from perhaps one of my viewers can enlighten me is it a, an 80s is it a 90s it could be a 90s it's it's very large, I must say. I'm hoping you can see a difference in the machine. Looking at my viewfinder, it looks like it's got a bit of a, a shine to it. So once it's had a thorough, thorough clean of all the removable muck, um, then a bit of a tea cutting, and then a couple of coats of polish. And if this cleaner, unfortunately, hadn't been broken, I think it would have looked 
maybe not putting brand well stretching it to say brand new but you know it's not looking bad just a couple of minutes of wiping the muck off oh ugh, ek. all that carbon dust don't get that on your carpets folks because it's really hard to take to take off your carpet I've got carbon dust on my cloth. Don't put that down on the carpet, Rog. Because you know what happens with carbon dust. Ah, oh, that's... I've just noticed something by mistake. I'll show you that in a minute once I show you the controls. I should really do this. This is filthy. I should be doing this on an old bit of carpet instead of on my living room carpet. But <laughs> it is due for a good shampooing, a good deep clean. So... What's what's another bit of muck on the carpet gonna matter? You know, you can't you can't have a hobby collecting and fixing up old vacuums without expecting to encounter muck. You cannot if I was buying all brand new vacuums all the time then yes. But I like to fix up old old girls as well. Quite scratched on the bottom, but I think tea cut some of these marks aren't coming off with the uh, with the old elbow grease i'm saying literal elbow elbow grease and elbow grease spray it's quite good this stuff it's only cheap it's an all-purpose degreaser um yeah you can get this at uh, cheap shops savers home bargains i expect yorkshire trading company just doing this is it's a huge huge difference but the seller doesn't seller sells lots of salvaged bits and bobs mainly from vacuums and they don't they make a point of not cleaning stuff it's up to you but for some parts i think they would probably get more money by cleaning them up but then it's the time it takes to clean stuff up I don't mind from time to time getting a filthy cleaner because it is satisfying to restore something that looks an absolute mess to something that looks like it's almost come out of the factory. But at least now it's looking a little bit better. Oh, I mean, obviously I've got to clean up the cable and everything, but the flexi wine does work. So, so far the only flaw Assuming this cleaner works is the damage here, but I think it's just two pieces. I'm hoping it is. Um, but let's have a look at this control panel and then we'll plug in. Here we have the control panel and I notice straight away there's a blanking piece here that possibly covers up a light on a more deluxe model or even a model lower down in the range. That might have been a bag check indicator because I think this does have a bag check indicator on this panel here so maybe a more basic machine without these settings without the automatic might have had a mains on light or a bag check light there possibly under here if i can open it again yes i don't know if i've got it dirty or wet didn't get it dirty maximum 150 watts so you could again hen's teeth you could possibly buy a motorized power head for that there is a power takeoff socket for it but yeah finding one of those to fit a pretty rare vacuum well pie in the sky then you've got a big pedal here that's your on off automatic and then we'll see this better if the machine works when the cleaner's on we've got some green lights and a red light and let's just see if I can see if anything it doesn't say anything the red light could be like the sensatronic red light it might indicate a blockage bag full etc it says computer control and then we have three buttons minimum automatic aut, automatic and max so basically just minimum maximum where you can have the minimum suction or the maximum suction switch it onto auto then it should adjust itself to the surface you're cleaning i'm not sure how this system works whether it's similar to miele or hoover sensor tronic 
So uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see if it works, won't we? And then of course you've got the big pedal for the uh, chord rewind. On the back of the cleaner we've got the multi-directional swivel caster and two wheels complete with a tyre and also we've got the rating sticker. This is a Philips Type HR6299 slash B, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 1000 watt CEE, 1150 watt max. I wonder if that's the 1000 watt of the motor with a 150 watt power head, possibly. Then the 635 after that, double insulated symbol made in Holland. Okie dokie, well it's time for the switch on. Oh, I'm looking forward to giving this a good clean. That comes out nice and smooth. I don't think there's any problems with the cord rewind. Just checking the cord as well, make sure there's no damage. Right, I think that's about it. Let's just let it, let it back in. Oh dear. <laughs> you see, Roger, it's your own fault. I said there was no problems with the cord rewind. And now, now that I've pulled it out, it doesn't want to go back in. So I can't resist. I'm just going to give it a rudimentary wipe. Just a brief, just to get the worst off with my damp cloth. But um, I can't get that cord re rewind back in again. So never mind. We'll look at that at some point. It's manky, folks. Manky is the only word. I've got to describe this vacuum. Manky. Right. Well, since I have my Cibo Felix here, I'm going to nick, well, borrow the uh, fuse out of it. Assume it's going to be the correct fuse for this. Where's my Cibo Felix? Oh, it's plugged in. Well, that's quite interesting. The Cibo Felix plug looks very like the Philips one. So I'm hoping that the fuse cover will actually fit this. I mean, they look almost identical, don't they? Is there any markings on this? Um, now I can't see a manufacturer. They still say Philips on it. Right, okay, well, hopefully I'll just be able to Take the fuse out of the SIBO, pop it in the Philips. I might need to high rated fuse. Oh, it's a 13 amp in the SIBO, so that's fine. I'll just pop the fuse in and then we'll plug in this Philips P99. There you go, that's the fuse fitted. And I'm pleased to say that the SIBO fuse cover actually fits this plug. So I don't think I'll have any trouble getting a replacement fuse cover for this Philips. Okie dokie, we're at the part of the video I always dread plugging in an old vacuum cleaner and hoping it doesn't blow up. Right, I don't know if it's going to be on or off at the machine. So, it's off at the wall socket. Right, here goes. Doesn't work, but hopefully it means it wasn't switched on. Right, <laughs> here goes. Right. It doesn't work, folks. <laughs> it said it was working. I'm sure it said it's working. Um, mm -hmm. Oh! Well, that's on minimum. Oh, it's making a funny noise then. Right. Oh, it stinks. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I know that smell. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh no. I, w I wanted to show you the lights. Oh heck. Wow. That is unmistakable. Has this must have a suppressor in it because that is the suppressor smell. Oh, flipping heck. That stinks. I know that smell. I know that smell from old. It sounded lovely. Oh, what's happened here? 
Hmm. I have unplugged, haven't I? <laughs> oh, don't say... I don't know how... Oh, I think the moisture... I can't think that moisture's got into the motor like that. It looks like there's moisture got into the control panel. I dried all this out. I didn't even wet it much. I could see bits coming out of here as well. Um, the sponge. Oh heck. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's some screws. Mmm. I can't see it's going to be that easy, is it? Two screws to take the top off? That would be too simple. That. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, that stinks, folks. It was going, it was going great guns. It sounded all right. I don't think the motors, I think it, it could be the suppressor folks. Let's see what happens if I take these screws out. I, I don't think it's going to be as simple as two screws and then the whole top cover comes off. That, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? There's probably hidden screws behind panels. It might just, Yes. No, obviously there's going to be a lot more screws, I would think. Oh, it absolutely stinks, folks. Nothing visible there. It could be a case. It could it could just snap together. Maybe. Oh, that was unmistakable, that smell. Oh, it's working now. Right, okay. I don't think I was pressing on it enough. Right. So, yeah, this foam is just... Bits were... Bits started coming out of this. This foam is perishing. This won't have been switched on for ages. I'm sure the seller said it was working. <laughs> Take that with a pinch of salt. There was no fuse in the plug, so they probably didn't even check it. I mean, why? <laughs> Their feedback isn't great. They've got a lot of negative and neutrals. But you take, you know, I knew this when I, I ordered it originally and got the wrong thing. Yeah, I don't know why this condensation appeared in this. I, I really didn't wet it much enough, enough for, for water to get into there. Let's pop this back. Then I can open up some windows because it stinks in here. But it's oh, it's a suppressor smell. It's got to be. It's not a not a burning motor smell. It really it's a very distinctive smell, and you'll know if you've have experienced a suppressor about to blow. Sometimes they don't they don't go with a bang. Sometimes the machine will just start stinking, and then it'll just turn off if you leave it running. And I'm not going to leave this running. I don't want to cause any more damage. So folks, ah, oh, right, I can, yeah, no, that's not going to help. There's two screws under there, but that's that won't help get the top cover off, will it? I'll have a look online, see if there's any uh, exploded diagrams of this. But I will need to, obviously, have a, a proper look at this if I want to show you it in action. So there you go folks, that's my Philips P99, a cleaner that's uh, definitely got some issues. Apart from the damage at the back that I need to fix. The suppressor, I don't know what I can do, it's got electronics and LEDs, it's all a bit complicated for me, but um, I will, I will endeavour to get this cleaner working. The motor didn't sound like it was failing, it didn't sound like it was bearings or anything like that. Um, it was that smell, that pungent smell that started coming out of the machine that to me suggests it's something to do with a suppressor or capacitor, if you want to call it capacitor. It's just, I, I expect when I work out how to get this open, I will find the suppressor 
probably oozing out some brown gunk or something and hopefully I'll just be able to take it out and things will be fine and dandy again. But in the meantime, this is all we're going to see. I didn't think I'd even be able to show you this after the initial disaster when the seller sent me the, the wrong item. I've got the item, not really working, but there's potential here. I think this is well worth saving because I've never seen one in the flesh. I've, um, I've never owned a Philips swivel top vacuum cleaner. I like those older ones from the, you know, the brown ones that um, I remember seeing in catalogues. So this is a lot more modern than the old Philips swivel top, but still made in Holland by Philips. Unlike now where I think most Philips branded stuff is just made by any Tom, Dick or Harry and Philips is stamped on. It's the same as uh, many other manufacturers. They don't actually manufacture anymore. They don't have their own factories. It's just a brand name that's been bought out and we just get any old tat. But this is of the era when it was a decent machine. We may be able to restore her. We should hopefully be able to get this Philips P99 running properly and I'll be able to show you all its functions and features, get some bags for it and do a bit of a demo. So if you have any comments or questions or any help you might be able to give me about this vacuum, anywhere I should look for spares, how do I get access to the motor, anything like that, um, I'd be very grateful if you could comment below. So for now, hopefully not for the last time, but for now it's bye from me and bye from the Philips P99. And I'll see you all very soon.